Hello everyone, this is Anna from Lexin Beauty Journals. I hope you're all well today. Um, so today we're going to do a, um, we're going to decorate a cover of a journal and uh, we're going to have a giveaway, as I said last in the previous, um, in the previous video for whoever hasn't um, heard it, we're going to have a, a, um, a giveaway. Uh, I, I, I will ask you to leave your names um, down below if you are interested in uh, entering this uh, giveaway. And uh, we are going to decorate the cover of a pre-Raphaelite journal, which I have prepared the base and I have put the signatures in and everything. And we're going to do the decoration and then you can see how I usually decorate my journals and maybe get an idea if you like to, to do something similar. Um, you see the journal is wrapped with this elastic ribbon um, and I do that always when I am preparing, when I'm, I'm gluing it before I decorate it, um, just to make sure that it is uh, completely attached because I get a little bit nervous. Um, I don't want anybody to receive a journal and it being a bit floppy. I just, it's one of my worst nightmares. So, so uh, just uh, before we start, we begin with the decorating. I just wanted to say um, sometime next week, I will be uploading a video uh, with the flip through and uh, I will be reading out everybody's names that have entered. And if, um, if I have missed a name, uh, please email me or message me wherever you like, because I'll still see the message, Instagram, Facebook, Messenger, Etsy, uh, YouTube, or on my private email, Anna G9294 at gmail.com. And Anna is with a double N. So I'll repeat it, A double N A G nine two nine four at gmail.com. So if you want to enter, just send me an email and uh, I will add you onto the list. So uh, so we'll, we'll do that and then afterwards we're going to do the, 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 we'll do it properly. We'll do another video where I am going to go live and we're gonna go through the, the we're gonna do the giveaways. So now that I can go live, I'll go live. I do, at least I think I can go live over 1,000 subscribers. So that's the idea, isn't it? One of the ideas. So, so let's, um, let's start with this cover then. I have chosen I have chosen this image. So the painting is called the Jew the Jeweled Casket and it is by uh, Thomas Edwin Mostyn. And uh, it is a painting that I haven't seen very much around and I chose it for that reason and uh, I I love it. It's beautiful. So I I have coffee dyed the cover of the journal. So I put the journal together, coffee dyed the cover, and I have repaired the ridges underneath. And uh, I made thinner, finer ridges this time. And I just wanted to say that when I coffee dyed the material, and that's what I always do, I put it inside <laughs> inside our boiler room, and. It dries up this way. I don't know what it is. I also don't spread it out completely so that it has these uh, folds. So I don't know what it is about the boiler room, but it seems to like um, like the the journal seem to like the coffee dyeing. The sorry, the cover seem to like to like the coffee dyeing in there more. I change something that you always do. <laughs> and uh, well, in the summer it it dries outside, but at the moment we're having a, a winter and it's quite cold here, um, in London. So I will start with uh, uh, with uh, decorating the image first and uh, add and uh, attaching it on onto the the book onto the front cover. So I have cut out this um, printed and cut out this image, and I've also cut out this uh, uh, ivory thick three hundred GSM card, and uh, I am going to glue uh, put a pl plenty of glue and um, attach the image onto the ivory paper. So I spread quite a bit because it's, um, it's important so that the image doesn't, doesn't have any, it doesn't, you know, there are no bubbles or it doesn't raise from the side or anything like that because that I don't like at all. Um, again, you know, it's my, it's I'm paranoid about that. So I make sure that the, the image is very well attached, always onto the, onto the uh, paper. Okay. 
I'm just going to trim the image a little bit around the edges um, and uh, just not not worried about it being straight or perfectly straight or anything like that I'm just going to trim it around because I will be adding gold and you know it doesn't really and then I'm going to be adding gold leaf over it so it doesn't really matter if it's not perfectly um, lined up uh, we just want it to be just to look decent decently you know decently straight so uh, the next thing we're going to do is add some gold on the edges and uh, I have this gold wax soft gold wax and uh, I will just um, just add a little bit on the edges just to tr sort of give it a bit more of a an, 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 a rustic look you know the look that I like to give them the journals so that's all and even even with this again we won't be able to see much of it but whatever we do see because it's going to be covered with gold leaf whatever we do see we want to have a little bit of gold around that's that's the way I like to do it so I um, I don't mind if a little bit goes on the uh, image as well it's nice to have a bit of gold on it but if you don't like it you can just use an eraser just a, a rubber that's all you don't need uh, to worry about it if it does come out and you don't like it just erase the gold wax it, it, it really clean cleans up uh, nicely gently of course but it cleans up nicely so now I will um, attach the image onto the cover of my uh, journal and uh, I will pick the side that I don't like as much <laughs> but now of course I've already added the um, I have added the uh, signatures so I, I don't have that option <laughs> but usually I like to cover the part that is not you know that is less less rustic and uh, and leave the rustic part because sometimes it happens on the fabric some parts are less than others so, but anyway um, so I'm going to uh, glue the image onto the cover with, you know the image that has already been attached to the ivory card And uh, I will use some of this um, starch glue that I have, which is a slow drying, and it's it's um, it's a glue that I get from bookbinders, and uh, I can't tell you if you would be able to find it, but it doesn't matter. You can use any kind of glue you like, um, to attach the gold leaves onto the journal because I, you know, I like attaching the gold leaf. That's what I really like. That's what I'm showing you today. I will show you that I have I get these um, these leaves uh, of gold leaf um, because I sometimes use the little pieces as well uh, but uh, funnily enough I find this is easier to use so I I get them in larger sort of uh, like leaves and uh, I um, I use that Sorry, I'm doing a voiceover because I always get stressed when I'm actually talking. Um, uh, I'm talking at the same time as I'm filming. So it makes it so much easier when I do a voiceover. And I hope that's okay with you guys. But it's it makes me feel more comfortable. And actually the editing is so much faster. I don't know why, but it is. So I'm going to spread... I'm going to spread uh, a bit of glue with a, with a brush all, all over uh, on the on the edges all over where I want to add the gold leaf and because it's slow drying uh, I don't have to worry too much about uh, too much about it drying in the meantime and all that it just dries and uh, so uh, all around or wherever one wants to add the old the old um, the gold leaf that's it so now i have to slice sort of take little slices of it i just take some bits of it and i start covering the journal with the gold leaf the the parts that i have put the glue on and and it's it's not the easiest thing but the gold leaf is something really pure and simple and it doesn't matter if you get some on your hands or whatever i always do it with my hands no gloves because i couldn't possibly 
do this with 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 gloves on and you don't i don't think i need to but anybody who feel, has a sensitivity or you know skin sensitivities or anything else uh, always always use your gloves so i spread it around So the front is now, uh, the front cover is now the way I want it to be. You can add more gold or less gold, depends on what you like. And I'm going to work a little bit on the spine. And I am going to add fabric on the spine. And I know you like, you, some of you like that fabric that I use in between the ridges. So I'm going to do that. But I'm also going to add some gold leaf because I want to show you how I, I do it when I'm not adding the fabric. And then I'll add the fabric over it and whatever's left of the gold leaf, that's lovely. So no problem at all. But I'd like to show you how I do it without the fabric. Um, so, you, you know, you get an idea. It's, it's easy. I mean, it's really simple. And I don't, you know, I'm just showing you anyway um, so I, I just again uh, spread you can also use a, a, a strong glue and it will go faster it'll be faster it won't you know it'll be easier but I thought I'd do it with this one today so I'm adding uh, I'll be adding it all around um, especially on the one edge because I quite like sometimes just the one edge um, rather than it being scattered it's nice to have it just on the edge okay so I'll continue adding as much you know as much as I, I like All right, so now we're going to go to the back and uh, I just I will just put a little bit just a tiny bit on the back just a few flakes just to give it a little bit of of that rustic you know rustic feel on the back as well but just very little because I quite like leaving the back usually plain I think it's also easier when you're touching the journal you hold it from the b behind from the back cover and a keeps the front always in better condition if you don't touch too much of the gold everywhere. So I'm just going to add a little bit of gold here. And uh, now I'm going to add the fabric on the spine. So I have chosen this, which I think goes really well with the front of the of the front cover, and the whole rustic feel of the journal. And I uh, I will just uh, cut it into the size of the spine in between the ridges. So this is what I do always.
So I always, uh, I always uh, use again plenty of glue on the um, on the spine. So these will be also they don't. Um, I don't like them fraying on the edge very much. So plenty of glue and they are there. That's it. So of, obviously, if, the, if, the, if anything happens and um, it dries up or it falls off or whatever, it's not that hard to put it back. So um, somebody who owns a journal like this and um, maybe the fabric has fallen or has come off a bit, just add a little bit of glue and it'll go back to place. It's, remember, it's handmade and uh, it, won't be, it won't be perfect. So, and that's the beauty of it. <laughs> so um, now I will, uh, I will add the end papers and I thought that we could do this together. So I have another piece of that craft ivory 300 GSM paper and I measure it on the inside part of the cover. And that's one thing I like to do accurately so that it doesn't come out on the edges. And uh, I will um, slice it uh, and add it um, inside the um, inside the journal. So I will use this little, this clever little thing, or clever big thing, and just slice it. Something from another day was left there because I'm always so rushing so much sometimes to to slice them. So I forget to clean it up afterwards. So I'll, I'll make sure they're a bit narrow. They're not too wide, as I said, and they're ready now. So they'll go underneath the paper, the end paper that I'm going to add. And I chose this one and I know it's beautiful, isn't it? It's handmade marble paper with lots of gold in it. And it is real. It's the real thing. So I have used it before and uh, I don't remember in what, in which journal, but I think it is just gorgeous. So, and I think I'm, it looks like feathers and I'm going to put it up in such a way so that it looks like it's almost like cascading um, onto the journal. So I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> So my journal is here and they'll go in there. And again, I will, uh, I will um, attach the everything together. I glue everything down. So um, I'm going to fast forward this. So you know what I'll be doing. I'll be gluing the uh, ivory paper. Uh, first uh, first uh, the marble paper on it and then um, then I will add the paper with the ivory the marble paper and the ivory onto the journal add the seam binding ribbons that uh, are really really I think they really really suit this this theme and uh, I have chosen this creamy ivory one which I will I haven't coffee dyed so I will coffee dye in the end and you see how I'll do this because whenever I don't have time or I forget I have a way of doing it and it's it's absolutely fine <laughs> afterwards So 
so I have um, I bat I have attached it underneath as you've seen and now I will put it onto the the um, the inside cover of the journal and uh, press it well so I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that because I want to make sure that it is attached properly because it's important that it doesn't it doesn't fall out or have gaps in between or anything else so yeah I'm gonna this way I'm steadying it So now it's all nice and steady and I just adjust them because it's freshly glued on and it's easy to adjust them the place where the place you want them to be and I don't want them to be too low too high right in the middle I want them to be lined up a bit so <laughs> it's, it's all it's all done and uh, she's ready now so I will show you how I coffee dye the seam binding ribbon um, I'm sure you all know how to do it, you know, you have your own ways, but I'll just show you what I do. So I put a bit of coffee in on tissue and I just rub it on. That's really it. And this way it's not too, too intensely um, coffee dyed. It's got this sort of ivory rustic look but it's not you know it's not dark but then there are some journals where I like it really really intense and then I I will coffee dye it properly and again put it inside that boiler room we were talking about earlier so there she is already now I hope you enjoyed this you know crafting uh, crafting decorating the cover um, video you will give me a little bit of time to decorate it inside as well and uh, i've got a lot of um a lot of uh, paintings images and and some wonderful printables by the paper cameo in this one and it's from her kit um arabella and arabella 2 number two and it's all um the pre-raphaelite uh, printables and they're just they're just beautiful so I had such great time decorating this journal so remember to look out for the next video because I will be reading the names and make sure you put your name down and uh, in the beginning of December we will have a um, the giveaway and then the person who wins this journal will receive their journal before Christmas so that that'll be lovely that's that's the idea um, I'm also going to be making another one which will have a different cover and it will be similar to this one but not exactly the same because there never can be and that will be for the Etsy shop but I will let you know when that one's out and um, when that will be ready. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.